My boyfriend says that you don't have hair on your sack if you don't play Impending Doom. Tell your boyfriend he's an ass. You are running to the shore! How the hell are ya, sheep fuckers? Galactic criminal here. Impending Doom! This is a group I know I've seen people asking me to check out in the past, but even more so recently, so I went ahead and checked him out on the Google. It says, Impending Doom American Christian Deathcore Band from Riverside, California. Now go on their Facebook, it says the same thing. I do not care whether you believe they are Christian or not, I am going based on what I am finding on the interwebs. So get over it. <laughs> This fucking band comes pretty highly recommended, especially due to the levels of deathcore that I've been privy to more recently. Also, this song seems to be the one most suggested as well. So let's check this shit out. Impending Doom Murderer with a one, two. Yeah. 
Dude! Dude! I am a murderer! So good! I think this shit was fucking brilliant. Straight off the top, setting the fucking mood and tone of the track with just this sick, long, fucking screechy style of hold, which kind of had elements of a, a deeper scream and elements of a, of a higher pitch type scream as well, giving me the fucking, the notion at least, or this right off the start of the track, that we're gonna get a variation in that vocal, and that's absolutely what happened in this shit. Also, gotta say, the fucking drumming for me was a standout feature on this track. Everything else was fantastic as well. The vocalist was great, but the drumming for me, just the way the rhythm was set, even just from the offset of the beginning of the track, the fucking the, like intermittent sort of double kicking thing to get you uh, like prepared, I guess, for like the, the first beginning verse section. And I just, man, <laughs> so sick. And then just going straight into fucking double kick city. Also, something very cool with this track, I feel as well, was the sort of like melodic guitar playing over top of the really, really heavy, really fast, bassy style of drumming, dude. If you like, you really listen to it. It's the slower style of uh, of melody over something so fast. The vocalist kind of going fast as well. So like the contrast in that for me, not the whole entire song. I don't believe it was, but like a, a large portion of it was like that, and I really appreciate that shit. And then, dude, you get to about the minute 40 mark of this track and you, you, you hit the part that I love the most about some deathcore is getting yourself a sick-ass goddamn meaty drop and you get one right fucking there, dude, leading into the vocalist doing the fucking the I am a murderer chorus style-ish deal, dude. It's just like the coolest fucking part. Man, it's just... Just the fucking, the emotion and the fucking intensity that you can see in, in his face and you can hear from the vocals. Again, why I really appreciate a music video more so than a lyrics video, especially a music video like this. Some people may not understand. I am like a, a visual learner as well, especially when it comes to music, having a background and going to a lot of like live local shows and stuff. I feel that the stage presence performance of a group adds to the, the intensity or just whatever the fuck. Uh, style of music that they're playing, especially a music video like this that's a little more simple, just kind of like in a warehouse giving you cool angles and, and visuals and stuff like that, but you get to see the intensity of the group. Now, yes, it's kind of one-off-ish because it's a video, they're like giving their, their best, I guess, but that's awesome in that same regard, getting the sort of the best like stage performance of the group and those, those two things coupled together, there's almost nothing like it aside from actually seeing the group live. But like I said, the fucking vocals were fantastic on this fucking shit, dude. I, I kind of thought right off the beginning of this that we were going to be getting a variation in the vocals, and we did. I, again, I appreciate the fuck out of that because then you don't really get bored. I have said before that just a straight up one style of vocal can work really well if the rest of the song is arranged in a way to accompany that, you know, so you don't really get too bored with what's going on. But otherwise, I kind of feel like a vocal like this where it does kind of change up and, and the changes do feel pretty smart. That just, it, it makes the song that much more enjoyable for me, not really knowing what's going to be coming next. Now, I guess I will give like one negative, not really a negative, more of a gripe, is uh, the end of this track that the, the I am a murderer looping that, th that shit. I think they, they did it a few more times than necessary anyway. But then again, it was pretty much the coolest fucking part of this track, the most intense part of this track. So ending it the way that they did like that while listening to it was just fucking fantastic. It's just after it, it had ended, I was like, okay, well, they could have maybe taken a couple of those off of there. I am going to say, though, I am absolutely a fan of these motherfuckers. I'm going to have to listen to maybe a little bit more before I decide whether or not I'm going to get an album, but... This, is, this shit is fantastic. It, it gave me, I've said in some other videos, that, that moment where like where I first fell in love with Thy Art is Murder. <laughs> it's just the, the track that got me to love that band. This this one, I think, was a very good pick and for a good reason. A lot of people have suggested it. It's, it's got me very, very much interested in getting into some of this. So yeah, I thought this was the tits. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there will be a link in the description for this video, so you can go ahead and watch it for yourself. Full screen, full audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.